right, I'm replacing the high pressure fuel pump. Um, all I've done is so far is remove the engine cover. I took the battery off the ground, the ground off the battery, excuse me, and I have loosened this nut up a little bit. I held a rag under it when I did it, and uh, it comes all the way off. Now, electrical connection. This thing comes off. I'm just <clears throat> Um, put a rag under here, squeeze these green tabs, pull it out, some gas is going to come out of that so just tuck it back there. And I've got my 10 millimeter and I'm just going to remove these two nuts. I'm going to go slow, one at a time, real slow, because there's a lot of pressure on that spring that's down there. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, but you get the idea. One turn. bit of fuel coming out. Alright. Finish those off by hand. I like to use a drill to get these out or impact, but I don't want to put a spark near this gas, so just twist them out. Try not to drop them down in the engine. They say you're supposed to replace these and the tube when you do it, but I'm not. Save the cost and the time. do it I'm gonna pull the steel line back all right oh, there it is all right now here's my here's my new one um, I'm gonna get a little bit of this oil on my finger and I'm just gonna hit the ring of this one so we can slide it back down in there. Okay. Now we'll just stick this back in and I'm gonna have to line up this as I squeeze it in. Two bolts. Now this one that I got, you can see it's got a cracked electrical connector. Um, I got it cheap because it was cracked, but it's a new one. Um, it came in broken. 
I don't care. I'm just gonna put some zip ties around it and some heat shrink tube and call it a day. It's a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. There's a whole bunch of crap about removing the um, fuse, pulling the fuse to relieve the pressure, and blah blah blah. I didn't have that problem. There was hardly any pressure in these lines whatsoever. And I've got these, it seems like it's all the way down uh, just by hand. So put the wrench on it, get it a little bit tighter. Each one at a time. I'm not using a torque wrench, I'm just holding it right there where I don't get a whole lot of leverage, just enough to snug it tight. 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 Now, find this nut that came up down there. It's down there. Let me just go ahead and push this on. That snaps. That locks it. Electrical connection in. And like I said, I'll, I'll probably uh, fill that with dielectric grease, zip tie it, put a big heat shrink tube on it. I doubt anyone's going to have that problem though. Um, I did pull this coil out of the way for cylinder four just to try to make it a little easier. I don't know that it didn't mean any good or not. There's that nut. Well, I can get it out. Must be the most challenging part of it so far. I'm just gonna grab a screwdriver. I got a few. Son of a bitch. Okay, got the nut out. And now it just tightens on here. And this is a 19. Everything else is 10s. Let's just make sure I got that threaded on right. Always do it by hand first if you can. Same thing, just snug it up. All right, I stuck a little bit of this dielectric grease into that plug since I've got it cracked. I just wiped off the excess, no big deal. Um, now I gotta put this back in here. I already stuck the uh, ground back on the battery, so that's all done. Crap, 
out of here. Oh, I do have the uh, ending cover. Goes back on. I don't know if I can do this with the camera. Voila.